energy forecast for April 2024. So April 1st, we kick off the month with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, going retrograde at 27 degrees in Aries energy. So first of all, when Mercury goes retrograde, our brain slow down just a tad. Instead of thinking about the future, we have to address some situation, circumstances, ideas, and memories from the past. This is a time for us to step back, to let our intuition lead, to really just review and revise what it is that we've had our attention on. Now, in this Aries energy, we have been thinking about a fresh start, a new beginning, a new endeavor, a new idea, a new identity. Because Mercury is going retrograde and again, smack dab in the middle of eclipse season, which means that we don't have as much power and control as we would like to think that we have because we're at the mercy of the cosmos. We have to expect the unexpected and having eclipse season overlap with Mercury's retrograde means that some wild card energies from our past could definitely grace our presence once again in order for us to see it from a different set of eyes and really test whether or not we've grown, whether or not we've healed, whether or not we've actually anchored into this new version of self. So of course, Mercury is going to mess with our headspace. It is going to mess with our ability to actually communicate and express our thoughts correctly. It is going to mess with our intentions because a lot of the things that we were very excited to pursue, suddenly we have questions about now. Suddenly we're taking a good look at those ideas and wondering whether or not we've given it as much thought as it actually deserves. Now, communication technology always gets pretty wonky with a Mercury retrograde, but this is going to have us really taking a good look at who it is that we had to be in the past, who it is that we now are trying to anchor into with this new version of self, and who it is that we now have the potential to be, what it is that we have the potential to build and create and bring to life, what it is that we want to pursue, new happiness, new goals, new dreams, new desires. But now, a lot of the things that we were excited about back in March, suddenly, we just have a different perspective. We have a different mood, a different attitude about it. So again, one of the reasons why I really encourage to download this Aries Season e-guide is to really capture all of the different thoughts, the topics, the themes, the ideas, the flashbacks, the memories, the people that may actually come out of the word work from your past and make a special appearance. We need to know about this. We need to make a note of this because we're going to revisit a lot of these topics and themes towards the end of April heading into May. So it is going to be a time to kind of capture what it is that has your time, your energy, your attention around this particular point in the calendar. Of course, this is going to be an interesting dynamic because we should not be making any commitments. We should not be aligning with any long-term decisions. We should not really be pushing to align with the choice point, align with the decision point, because the way that we feel about things now, likely going to rapidly change multiple times, not only through eclipse season, but throughout Mercury's retrograde. We may have to revisit old ideas. Maybe we're breathing new life life back into old ideas. Maybe we need to take a look back at certain times in our lives in order to pluck out the tough love life lessons that are very applicable to this particular time frame so that we don't make the same patterns, same mistakes over again and again. This is a time to reconsider our options, to revise some of the plans that we had, to revisit some of those ideas, to realign with a new mission, new quest, new purpose. Now, again, this is the whole back to the future vibe. A lot of the questions that we have about our future possibilities can be found in the past. Because we've grown, because we've evolved, because we have enlightened ourselves, we have a different perspective. And this is why a lot of old people tend to knock on the present door in order to kind of, you know, reemerge into our lives because we see the roles and responsibilities that those people played in our lives from a very, very different set of eyes, growing in appreciation for the pain, for the trauma, for the struggle that we definitely had gone through. This is a point of tension 
in our headspace. This is a point where because of the Aries energy is a fire sign where we want to hurry up and kind of decide where we want to hurry up and get it over with, where we want to hurry up and kind of jump into it. We can't hurry this process. If you hurry, if you pressurize yourself into making a decision, you are going to revisit your decision making in the worst kind of ways. This is a delay point. This is a detour point. This is an indecision point because the eclipse energy needs to sort us out and put us on the path that we failed to put ourselves on. Our intellect is not working properly with Mercury in a retrograde. We cannot see the path moving forward as of yet. We still have wild card energies that need to be thrown our way throughout eclipse season in order for us to understand our higher path the divinely scripted pursuit of happiness that we need to be making that we will not understand or be able to even articulate until eclipse season has come and gone. So of course, typical Mercury retrogrades, we want to be very cautious with our commitments, with our decisions, with our choices. We also want to be very cautious with our words, especially in Aries energy. We have the tendency to verbal vomit to be straightforward without using a filter. And of course, that can hurt some feelings. That can create a mess that you're going to have to go back and clean up once Mercury goes direct before you're going to be able to actually move on. And so we have to just be a very, very cautious. Again, this is a great time for reflection, for revision, for recalibration, not necessarily the greatest time to initiate something new. So, because this is the Aries energy and the Aries energy is very innovative, very pioneering. It is the first sign of the Zodiac. There is a lot of fire energy, which means excitement, inspiration, motivation, or anger, depending on what fuel you're using to kind of, you know, keep that fire within you lit. We are really pressurizing the headspace. It is going to feel like your head may be on fire, like your tongue may be on fire from the words that you should not be spitting out without using a filter at this particular point in time. The downfall is, is that we're not listening. We're not listening to ourselves. We're not listening to the world around us. We might not even be listening to our intuition or our higher selves. We just have so many ants in our pants. We're so restless. We just want to fast forward. We just want to get this over with. But again, may I remind you that a lot of the questions that we have about our future selves can be answered if you pay attention, if you observe. If you understand the topics and themes that are coming back into your face for a second go, for a second review, you could definitely start piecing together this bigger, broader puzzle before Mercury actually goes direct. So we just want to be a little bit more cautious, a little bit more aware. We want to tap into a different level of patience that most of us were not born with. We just have to be a little bit more in the observer mode in order to actually see what it is that we're being guided away from and what it is that we're being guided closer to.